Greetings from Mays People Team. Today we are going to learn how to make a taxi booking website using eCab plugin. eCab is a feature rich plugin that offers Google Map integration, flexible pricing option, search results with different category and pricing, and of course it offers optional extra service option. And other than that, you can also have the option to WooCommerce custom checkout, ticket confirmation, and there are many more like API for to complete waiting time, Google Geofence, then Intercity, and driver panel. These are already covered. You can check out from our previous videos. In this walkthrough video, we will actually focusing on the free version of eCap plugin, but you can buy our premium version. You can check out those packages and after integrating this taxi booking plugin you will get a front end like this in your taxi booking website where you can choose your time date and of course the pickup location and drop out location and when you are going to click the search button you will find the taxi available for you and you can see the map where you can see the location from here to there with the pricing details now let's select the car that is suitable based on your budget after selecting the taxi it's time to book now and then you have to fill up the form and you need to place the order so without further ado let's move to our dashboard Go to your plugins tab, click add new plugin. Now search taxi booking. Great, you got the taxi booking manager for WooCommerce. That's our eCal plugin. Simply install it and activate the plugin. Okay, now you got the welcome with the setup wizard. Simply click install and activate now for WooCommerce as it is a WooCommerce integrated plugin. Okay. Once your WooCommerce is installed and activated, simply click on next and simply finish and save. Okay. As you can see, this is a Google map based setup for taxi booking. You need to add the API to show your Google Maps. Okay, let's move on to your booking tab. Okay, that's our booking option. As you can see, there is no Google Map here because there is no API setup. So you need to get a API key and you need to add it from the taxi booking settings. After adding the API, the Google Maps now is appearing here. Now let's move to transportation tab and select all transportation. From there we will select a car from which we will check out all the pricing and booking functions. Okay, now select a car like here BMW 5 series. Click edit here. These are all by default defined. You can also create a new car also but as it is already defined we will use this one so that you can easily understand everything so under general information settings you can give the car name the engine capacity the fuel tab everything and just below you have the options for date settings here you can select the repeated date the start date and advance booking you can define as you wish for example, right now I'm defining to 90. So you can book the taxi before 90 days. Also, you have the options to make taxi available for 24 hours. You can also define your schedule configuration in which day your taxi booking will be off and which day it will be available. Now let's check out the pricing settings. Well, you can Define your initial price here, your minimum price, your return minimum price, and also if you offer discount, then you can say return discount. Also, you can add waiting hour. Now let's come to the crucial part, the pricing based. 
you can select pricing based on time with Google Maps, with distance with Google Maps. Also, you can select the manual part. So let's start. Simply click on add new place. Select your starting point and your end point and define a price here. Okay, great. Now simply add another one. Okay, once you have defined your manual price settings, it's time for update. Now, before moving into the booking, let's define some pricing. Okay, go to pricing tab. You can define your initial price or you can choose your minimum price. Okay, I'm adding some minimum price up to 50. And for a discount, or waiting time hour. Well, waiting time hour will be preferable. If someone wait for one hour, it will be charged extra ten dollar. Now let's move to pricing based. Okay, here are so many options. We're gonna choose the distance as Google Maps. Okay, and our price will be multiplied by one point two per kilometer. Okay, now let's click update and let's move on to your booking. Okay, now we're going to choose a date, our time, then pick up location, drop off location. Then choose the transfer time. It will be depending on your own choice. And waiting hour if you want, but we didn't select, so click search. Okay, now looking for the car we have already set up. As you can see, most of the cars have the same pricing except for the one we have selected. Simply go for the pricing. You can see that the minimum price starts with the 50, so as you can see, it's 50 here. Okay, great. So our pricing is model is actually working fine. Okay. Now let's remove the minimum price here and let's see if it's actually showing again or not. Okay. Simply again search. Well, most of the pricing are same, right? So it's working fine. Now we are going to check the waiting hour. Okay, select one hour here, click search. As you can remember that we have set waiting hour as 10, right? It will be increased by 10 per hour. So it's 2021 here. Yeah, it's working fine here, right? Now let's check out the return. Okay, simply so go back to the booking. Now, Remove the waiting hour and simply choose the transport type as return. Okay, you can see that all the pricing has doubled, right? Okay. Now let's set up an initial price to check out if it's different from the all the pricing or not. Uh, we are adding initial price as 10. Click update. And go back to your booking okay simply search let's check out all the pricing okay you can see that all the pricing has say same actually all, only the bmw card is different because it is increased by 10 as we have set up initial price as 10. okay now let's remove the initial price and we will check out the return minimum price. Well, let's see if the return minimum prices work or not. Click update here. Okay, now simply search. Okay, all the pricing are same here, but well, all are same. Why? 
because we haven't set up the minimum price because the return minimum price would only work if you have defined the minimum price here but we haven't defined minimum price right so we need to add also the minimum price to work with the return minimum price okay now click update okay now click search well you can see all the prices are same but our return minimum price is working here fine so it's increased okay it's great all the pricing model are working fine now we will check the discount while returning let's check out if the return discount is working fine or not simply add a amount we're adding here 10 the return discount can be fixed or percentage now we are checking the fixed amount okay simply click update and search okay you can see that our return discount is working fine because it is deducted by 10 okay now we will check the percentage here as we have selected 10 percent so click update and let's get back to the booking okay again search and you can see all the prices are same except for bmw 5 series the price is directed by 10 percent here oh well all our pricing are working fine right now we will try different pricing model as we have checked out the price as distance as maps now we will check the manual booking okay simply choose manual booking click update and let's move back to transfer booking manual tab Okay, this is the manual booking setup. Simply choose your pickup date, pickup time, pickup location, and drop up location, and the transport type, and click search. Well, you can see the car. S two hundred is the amount is set here. So let's check out the transport type as return. Okay, now we will find yeah it's showing 360 right why because it's deducted by 10 percent okay now let's remove the discount here and again search well it's showing the price is double right okay we will check the waiting hour okay we have selected two hours for that well as we know that waiting hour we have selected as 10 per hour so it is increased this by 20 as we have selected two here yeah. now we will check the fixed price hourly booking okay as you can see our price per hour is 10 simply click update here and let's move on to the fixed hourly booking tab Okay, select a date, your pickup time, your pickup location, your drop off location, and we need to select the hour that how many hours our journey will take, and our price will depending on that. Okay, let's select 10 hours okay click search okay you can see our price is 100 because we have selected price per hour as 10 okay
So I guess we have learned all the pricing model of taxi booking here. Learn the distance as maps booking, manual booking, and fixed hourly booking. So these are all the options for eCab taxi booking plugin. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and like our video. Thank you again.